And remember when I first started content creation, I was so bad at designing. It would take me hours to make those one single carousel. And I was like, what the fuck? But now, after so many months and more than a year, I've improved a lot. And now I'm using Canva to design carousels. And I'm going to show you you can make simple and clean carousels on, in Canva for free. So let's get to it. And side notes, there's a free gift for you if you're watching this video. So let's go. Firstly, we're going to be designing in Canva. So open Canva on your phone or on your laptop. Laptop more preferable. And we're going to start designing from scratch. So I'm going to show you how you can create the templates and all the tips and tricks I use in Canva. Yeah, so let's get started. Create a new design. And you just type Instagram post. Instagram post. So you develop the size that you're using. You can use 1080 by 1080 or 1080 by 1350. Let's use 1080 by 1080 to make it easy to understand. You see templates, but I'm just going to show you how to design a 10 slide carousel in Canva. There are many ways you can use, but this is one of the fastest ways I use. So in my next videos, I can show you how to use other ways, but this is very, very fast and it can be very seamless too. So let's start. Let me just imagine I'm designing for myself. So I just use the color of my background. So by the telegram disturbance. So 0090 FF. So this is my color code for my brand. And um you see the type press in your keyboard for text. When your text comes there, so you put your Instagram handle and that'll be it. You put it all the way down here. Now you can also come here, you go to file, you can show show rulers, show guides. Now this is a guide and this is our rulers so you need to rulers to show the guide so that i use to make my designs more aligned yes more aligned so now this is not my fonts i use um lato for my subsidiary fonts so lato bold yeah that makes sense yes and that's it i like whites and that text again your headline here and if with that you just come here and you and i use league gothic sorry i yeah league gothic and you just increase the size you can come here to increase the size or you can just use the arrow icon and press alt to make it go to center and if you want shift it goes like this alt goes like this and yeah that's how i do it and it makes it aligned like this so you cannot come here and align it to the left hand side then you now come here and just do what you do i guess i don't know to call that but just like formatting the text to make it look presentable you also come here and you reduce the line spacing so it can read you know what i mean yeah and since an headline i don't like when my headline are in lowercase so i change it to uppercase over here and that's it then you bring this one here again you get me? I hope you're getting it. If you have any questions, please leave, leave them in the comments below. I'll reply to every single question you have. Thank you. Now, that's it. Your headline here. Now, I like having numbers of my carousel over here too. So, I'll put that here. So, now, there's zero, one, dot. So, my carousels are numbered. Oh, yeah. And now you can use images, but now I don't know what this video is, this, what this is about. So, I can't really say much, but if you ever need images, you just come to Canva here so you can write 3D images. So you can see the 3D images here. And if you change to graphics, you see some things here. And if you like this guy pick face, you can use this guy face. And you can also come here again. You can see it's also free. You can also come here and see 3D ads and you can tap it. And you'll see more characters that you can take from. And so you just you have to just search well and you'll see something presentable you can use for your designs. So uh, currently, I don't know right now. I just I feel this one makes sense a bit. I like the smiley face. Oh, of course I'm not posting this. This is not, I don't I don't use this band elements for my designs, but yeah, this could make this make sense. I like it. That um you can also add this to your and you can also add um your what you do. So I talk about social media marketing. So let's come here and you search for frame. I'm just I'm using this video to show you how to design a Canva while showing you while doing something meaningful with it. So I hope you are getting it. And you come here 
to the frame and I can get a picture. I'm sure I have an uploaded picture over here. Load. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, the picture is here. Let's put it inside here. That's it. And the voila, that's it. Let's, let's do it a little bit. So, now, now at frames, you can also put a circle behind it. So, circle. Yeah, circle. Sounds so sounding there. So now this is circle. You can change the color white or black. Right now I use I have this new band color zero 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 e one v four e. So that's my new other band color. I don't like using black that much. It's not. I know it's black. I'm not a fan of black like that. So now you can you left click on this and you bring it forward. It's a mouse. Left click and you bring it forward. Where is it? Forward. And if you don't want to definitely just come to position, you can bring forward, backward, and you can align it here. So just to show you the parts and you bring it when it centers, you see the center, you see these pink lines when it shows center. I can just increase it. And if, if you're not sure whether it's centered, because see it's not centered well, just come here and you come to position and you see center, middle, just to align it very well. You cannot group with it, you cannot group it from there. Now you can see your image is there. So now you can zoom in also here and come to Canva and come bring this over here. Now you come bring this over here. So you can see it's aligned well. That's the point, making everything aligned. I just duplicate it and make sure I change the headline. Headline, the front cover of your cross is very important. So this headline, that's it for the headline. So you can delete this and you can change the headline. You can see body text. Boys, I don't recommend using um your headline fonts for your body text. So I changed mine to Lato over here. Um Lato Bold. And I move from this, I change back to lowercase. You can see that and I remove the yes. Okay, yeah. I just reduce the text, it's too large. I've tabbed a lot of things, but I don't know what to say right now. So I think it's still too much. So we're gonna reduce this. So now we can just use this. As you are seeing here, this is not this. This is just an example of a carousel I'm designing. So my carousel takes more time than this because I'm actually I'm actually taking from a copy. So I just want you guys to know that. And. Yeah, if you want a workflow of how I design my carousel on Instagram, I can make a video on that. You can tell me in the comments below. But this was an example of a carousel, so just want you to know. So now you can duplicate it. And yeah, don't forget you're gonna change the numbers here. So keep duplicating. Duplicate. The last slide is where you have your call to action. Oh nine and four. That's nice. So let me show you this an example of my carousel. That is larger. I'm using 1350 by 1080. Yeah and yes so um yeah this is my last slide you can see what i did here and you can see how to do this in canva too and did let's see did you find this helpful now we can change the last slide to the other fonts you can use this font for last slide because this is the last slide. Yeah, I also hope you have you don't get this confused. Last slide should have a good call to action so people can follow you. You do find this helpful. Then you can just type here follow me for more social or for more design tips i'm gonna change this to 28 now we can take it back up it's too small for me yeah i think 50 will be great so this is great follow me for more design tips you can see that now for your last slide you can put this here instead you can also bring this here and you take this ones down here you can press shift to make it stay aligned. You can now you can see you can either make it go straight, 
or you can make it come like this without leaving the line. So the person shifts right now and you just move it so it will not shift for the line. And you come here and you bring this, make this bigger. So you can see your fine face, you know what I mean? Yeah. And this now this is nice. You can see now I only used two colors or three blue, white and black dark blue, light blue and white. I'm a blue fan, so I use a lot of blue. The important thing about Nicaragua is having good um having a good color, bad color. So let me show you some tips. For this big font image now, you can add shadow to it. There are two ways to add shadow. One, you can just come here and choose a shadow, drop. Hopefully, my little doesn't feel me right now because it, it can just, you can see like, you can see shadows here. You can see the shadows, yeah. And you can edit it, you can just make transparency more. You can transparency, you can make it blur more. You can add transparency to it. And you can offset it. Not and you apply it and you can just bring it back now and you see it looks more realistic somehow and you put on camera if you're using a laptop you can come here and like this text only this text and you just come here and you can change this you can see that just changing a specific color you can't do this on your mobile phone but you can do this on camera and yeah it told you want to change this yeah so you will just change all the, all the numbers here and that's 10. See, if you find this helpful, you can just highlight here and come here, and that's it. You see, so I hope you found this helpful, and I guess that's just it in terms of any carousels. So let's take an image and let's see. Uh, 3D man, 3D man, yes, yeah. So this is 3D man. And let's see, you want to take a call. Let's use this. So now let's assume you can see this looks realistic. Now the imagine how nice it will be if it flows according to the sides. Like when I start in a phone call and it continues on this slide. That's what I'm gonna show you now. Now what you have to notice is that you have to know you must not shake it. And let's say it's like this. You can see this now. It's nice here. Eh? Now you copy it. Ctrl C and you come here and you press Ctrl V. Don't check anything and now you bring it and you cut it all the way here, like cropping it. And fast before this thing goes away, before this thing goes away, you come here and you align it to the left hand side. Yes, and that's how it is. And to be aligned, you can see continue from here to continue here. Now we can show it here. <sighs> if you want to check it out, you just tap here. You can see. You can see your mini carousels. You find it helpful. Take it back. So that's how you can know your carousel and how it looks like real time on Canva. Just start this year. And you can see all your slides if you come in the page view. You get me. You can see this. Now, I hope you find this really helpful. I'm going to leave this template for you in the description below. So you can download it and use it for your own Instagram designs. So if you really use it and you find it helpful, please let me know by tagging me on Instagram at creator or as I have seen, I would love to see you create amazing designs with this and that's it fam, I hope you find this helpful.